Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little vlog, as you read by the title already. Um, like a weekend update vlog. I got two packages right here. That is because I am getting three female guinea pigs this weekend. So that's kind of like the main reason why I'm filming this vlog, because I'm really excited. And I can't wait for you guys to meet them. And I can't wait to meet them. I'm gonna open the box and show you guys what I got. Okay guys, so I'm on the floor where the guinea pigs will be. I have my stuff here in the box that I ordered. And then tomorrow, me and my mom are going to the store to pick up the hay and food and just the other necessary stuff. I got two water bottles because I'm getting three guinea pigs and I just figured two was enough. They should have their own water bottle, but I think it'll be fine. Um, they are way larger than I thought. I got the largest size. This is the 32 ounce. It's literally the same size of ounces as my hydro flask and my hydro flask is huge. So that just didn't go through my brain. I don't know why. But here it is. It's huge. But I I got two of them. Um, it's fine because they'll just have lots of water, which is always good. And then I got two Heidi houses. Okay, so this one is what the green one looks like. By the way, I'm getting one-year-old guinea pigs so they are a little bit smaller obviously because they are like younger than adults so they will fit in both of these and here is the gray one i also want to mention that i'm not buying these guinea pigs from a pet store um i want to encourage you that if you do get an animal don't buy it from a pet store um, especially like tiny animals, like hamsters or something like that. They most likely would not have been treated with vet veterinarian care, if that makes sense. So they probably will have some type of condition or whatever. I know my last guinea pig had breathing problems because of the giant pet store cage that they kept them in. I'm adopting my three guinea pigs from this website called guinea pig finder um great website you can also rescue or adopt guinea pigs from craigslist or uh or facebook me and my mom were both looking on craigslist um but i think guinea pig finder is definitely a score so we have these two cute houses awesome so we have two of these and then another hide we have this um, like, you know those, those curtain things, those curtain things that you put in the corner? I think they're called, like, forest something. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Like, I'll, I'll just show you. Okay. So this is what these little hook things hook onto the cage. And then this goes in the corner. See what I mean? It's like a hidey thing. So that's what that looks like. And I just got the geometric corner. And then for the last thing, I have my cage. So basically I'm making a CNC cage. So I just got this for $20 on Amazon. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna build it. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later. After I filmed that clip of what I got in the mail, I started building my cage right then. I'm not trying to make excuses, but my phone was about to die and I just really wanted to get it done. But anyway, it's a few hours later and I ate pizza, just chilling. Um, but I finished the cage and I finished most of it. So this is what it looks like. There's the forest thing, a water bottle. Um, oh, I made this ramp by just like um, bending the uh, wire cube thing. 
That's also how I made my ramp to like get to my loft area. Um, so we have another water bottle down here and then the litter box is gonna be under the loft area. Anyway, I'm tired. So I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the shopping vlog thing. Hey guys, so it is the next morning. Um, I cleaned my room, so that's what it's looking like. Today is mainly finishing the main fleece bottom of the cage, finding something to put for the fleece on the loft, um, and then buying hay, food, pellets, pellet bowls for to put the pellets in when they eat. So basically just three food bowls. That's the cage. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys that last night. I'm pretty sure I did, but that's the cage for right now. I'll see you guys later when we go shopping or I, I have put the fleece in or just something important towards the guinea pigs. So yeah. Okay guys, so you probably missed a lot. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um, we went to the store and I'm, okay. Before I say anything, which I've already said stuff, but before I say anything, I want you guys to know that I'm the type of person that just goes to the store. Just goes, okay? I don't bring anything. I will sometimes remember my mask, but that is it. So I left my phone on my bed. So, yeah. So I'm just gonna show you what I got. Okay guys, so this is what I got. Um, I got these pellets. So all of this stuff right here, like the food stuff, I got at Tractor Supply and then this stuff I got from the dollar store, or the dollar tree, actually. Um, which also, did you guys know that they're turning the dollar tree into like, not dollar. Like there's $5 stuff now and $3 stuff now. Like, what the crap? Dollar tree is supposed to be everything a dollar. But I'm not mad about that. I, I probably seem mad about it, but I'm not. Because they have like footstools and clothes baskets and like, a whole aisle dedicated to art supplies so I'm not mad about it um, but I have these advanced pet pellets that I will be feeding them every day I have this giant bag of bedding uh, to put at the bottom of the litter box uh, for them to pee and poop on. Hopefully it will be easy to train them. They are females, so it should be easier. So, this should be good. And then we have this giant box of hay, which should last me a while. A while, I mean like maybe two to three months because it is three guinea pigs and they each, each one has to eat, obviously. So, yeah, and then from the Dollar Tree, um, I couldn't find bowls at Tractor Supply Store, so I got cat bowls at the Dollar Tree. So there was cat bowls and cat dishes. The cat bowls had like cats on it and like meow, like the word meow on it. Um, and then I, there was just the, like the colorful cat dishes. And I was gonna go plain and simple with all three of the bowls gray, but I was like, I'm gonna make it colorful. So I did this pinkish, magenta-ish color, this bluish, turquoise-ish color, and this coral-ish, orange-ish, pinkish color. <laughs> um, so these are the three colors. Um, and then I got, it's a broom sweeper for spot cleaning every day. Um, so I just thought it'd be easier to have a mini one in my room instead of, instead of having to go in the kitchen back and forth, back and forth. Um, so I just got a mini one from the dollar store. Sorry I didn't bring you guys along to the store, but tomorrow I will bring you guys along. Tomorrow is the day that I'm ad like adopting, rescuing, getting three guinea pigs. So I will definitely bring my phone or camera or whatever for that. I'm gonna go ahead and put these away and organize it and yeah. I 
I'm done with the cage for the most part. Um, I've put away the food, the hay, the bedding. And so yeah, I'm kind of just waiting for tomorrow. And so here is the cage. So we have the sports blanket on the bottom and then the things that I already had was that and then the little pee pad over there. Um, underneath is the litter box that I have not put bedding and hay in yet because again, I'm getting them tomorrow at two o'clock. I will see you guys tomorrow when I'm picking up the guinea pigs. Okay guys, so we are about to leave. I have this contra contraption, no, um, it's just a cardboard box because I don't have a carrier right now, but I wrapped it, I put it in a blanket and put hay and a hide house and a little pillow so they can be comfortable. I'm also bringing a mask just in case. I don't want to make it uncomfortable with the other person just in case, you know, COVID. So yeah, we're about to go get them. I'll see you guys on the car ride. Okay guys, so I'm chilling in my room, um, kind of giving the guinea pigs some time. They're kind of just smelling around the cage and hiding. Two of the guinea pigs are in one corner and then one of them is in the other. So they're kind of like hiding. I don't know if you can see two of them are in there and then one of them is like under here, like under here by the litter box. We'll just have to wait a little bit see how they feel so i'll just kind of be watching them um and i'll probably watch tv too i do have to go to school tomorrow which sucks because i just got them today so i won't be with them most of the day tomorrow but i'll just chill out and watch some tv and kind of keep an eye on them and yeah so they are definitely warming up look at little luna in there and then there's Coco and Nestle is in right there. Oh, Luna, she's so cute. But they're so cute. Oh my gosh, and they're so big. Like I expected them to be so much smaller. Hey guys, so it's actually months later. Um, sorry how bad I look, just ignore that. Um, you can probably hear them drinking water. They're just back there drinking water. Um, but it's been a couple, not a couple, a couple months later. I got them January 11th, somewhere around there. It is currently March 27th. Um, and so, yeah, it's been a long time. And I'm just going to give you a little update on them. They are doing fantastic. They've definitely warmed up to me. Um, and I also rearranged my room several times. Um, but they are chilling back here. Uh, we got Coco, Nestle, and then uh, I'm guessing, oh, there's Luna. And Luna is in her little hidey house. Um, and so, yeah, that is my little update. Um, I'm doing great. I haven't been, I haven't been filming or editing or doing anything. I feel like I really love the filming part and I have so many ideas of like, okay, I'm going to film this, I'm going to film this and it's going to be so fun, but I don't have one, the motivation to and the memory too. <laughs> so like a, the day before I will think like, okay, I'm gonna film this tomorrow. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And then the next day I completely forget about the whole entire thing and just forget about the video and not do it. Um, tomorrow is my little sister's birthday. So I will probably post this video today, which is March 27th. Um, or early tomorrow morning um, and I will probably vlog her birthday maybe 
but she's turning three and I'm really excited. Um, also, if you were wondering, the guinea pig's birthday is December 19th, I believe is their birthday. So they are like a little bit over one year. Um, and so yeah, I forgot to film an intro. So this is, I guess, my intro. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. And I will see you next time. See you in a little bit. Hopefully I will remember to film stuff. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye.